man, you know, I've grappled with so many high-level people, and, like, he's super tough and durable, super strong. Um, I was really impressed how he was hand-fighting me in close guard, and um, so he was awesome, you know, and, uh, again, props to him. He's a warrior. He, he's the world champion in MMA, and he took a match with me in jiu-jitsu, going out of his comfort zone. So I just have so much respect for him, and he's just such an awesome guy. I'm such a fan of him. Uh, I was just saying to him how amazing he is that he's out here doing a grappling match with me when he's the world champion, you know? Um, he's a real champion. Champions put themselves in uncomfortable positions, and they push themselves for growth. And he had no ego. He dropped his ego to come out here and grapple with me. And that's what I define as a champion. So again, I have so much respect for that guy. I think she's happy for both of us um, because uh, they're friends. I'm friends with Jared too, so um, I'm I'm proud of him too for doing this. You know, like uh, he did awesome, and uh, yeah, screw her if she was voting for him. <laughs> no, I I love this vibe. You know, I I for me every match is just a roll in the gym. So I love it the person doesn't have to do stupid things and they're just cool as hell and it's a good vibe role, you know. So it was just super fun for me. And experiencing Lumpini Stadium for the first time, competing in the legendary Lumpini Stadium in a ring, you know, it was such a cool experience. I always say this, my biggest opponent's myself, you know, I'm always battling things and I'm always overcoming, you know. So I'm just grateful to be here and I'm grateful to keep competing and pushing myself to the next level. Totally, you know, that's why I get uh, so much, that's why I put so much, uh, I get so much anxiety before these matches. It's not about winning to me anymore. It's about doing uh, cool sequences, making it exciting so we could keep jiu-jitsu on this platform. You know, it's still tentative. Like, if, if these matches don't get finishes, these MMA Muay Thai fans are just going to go to the bathroom during jiu-jitsu matches and we're going to lose jiu-jitsu on this platform. You know, so I got to keep it exciting. Uh, me and Rutolas basically are the... Uh, frontier people doing this and we have to keep these matches exciting so we could keep it on this platform and then the next generation could make money doing jiu-jitsu also like we are now you know I don't want people to have to feel that they have to do MMA or another profession in order to make money so we're so blessed and I'm so grateful to Shatri uh, for this opportunity to be on this platform you know and to perform in front of all these people you know so I'm so grateful for that but um uh, yeah, I'm just happy that the match was okay and there was a finish and I'm always scared like was it exciting enough? Was it boring? You know, so I think it was okay. Yeah, I, I'm just uh, thank you everyone that supports me. I love you all even the people that hate me. I love you all. I don't really I just here working my ass off and uh, we'll keep going. We'll keep improving and on to the next one. You know, I already I won my match today, but that's the past already. I'm already focused on the next thing. I'm already focused on my next training and I'm already focused on um, I feel like I could um, adjust some things from the close guard with Jared. It took me a little too long, so I'm going to adjust some things right now. I'm already obsessing about it. <laughs>